in late 1850s, um, they actually had a, 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 a bit of legislation that was put in Louisiana saying, let's re-enslave the free people of color and confiscate their, their property, which was, which was substantial. Um, it was uh, in the many millions of dollars of, of the real estate and, and property they found. So um, uh, many, some of my relatives began to form a, uh, a cooperative um, and they, um, they bought a property in, in, um, uh, near Veracruz, Mexico and started an agricultural colony called the Eureka Colony. Um, and in 1859, um, 100 or so Creole families moved out of the United States back to Mexico. And so uh, some of my relatives are, are there in Mexico now. Uh, they live uh, in Tampico, Mexico. Um, and where, uh, you know, uh, in 1829, slavery had been outlawed in Mexico. Um, and so they started this agricultural cooperative. Um, it, it didn't go uh, as well as they planned. Uh, Mexico was having their own problems. Uh, and uh, one of the reasons that I think that they were able to go there was that uh, in the late, in 1853, uh, Benito Juarez, who became the president of, of, of Mexico, was in exile in Louisiana. And so, you know, this is, like I say, another fact that a lot of people don't know. And so uh, he was in the cigar rolling business, and all my relatives were cigar rollers no. um, and cigar smokers. Oh. <laughs> um, so um, I, I, I have to believe that he uh, influenced these uh, Creoles as he saw the pressure that was being ratcheted up on them and said, hey, you need to really consider the possibility of coming to Mexico. You guys are productive citizens. You deserve um, to have an opportunity to to, uh, you know, be, uh, have a life that's, that's open and, and good for you.